Okay, uh, same, continue pa rin tayo guys, pero this time is, uh, try natin, intindihin pa lalo yung singly reinforced beam. No? So, same pa rin yung problem, ganun pa rin, yung beam width natin is 330, tsaka yung depth is 450. No? Then, however, yung number of bars na 25mm is mag-iiba. No? So, para maka, makasolve ako ng ng value ng mga MU uh, gamitan ko na lang nung app na ginawa ko no? so this is my app this is called correct beam so getting started so yung gagawin para natin is yung ginawa natin is investigate yun eh. so muta ako dito sa investigate so input lang natin yung beam weight so ganun pa rin uh, nilagay ko na yung example eh. so yung example is ganun pa rin we have 330 tapos yung effective depth nya is 450 in terms of compression 65 no? pero singly man to so I think hindi na needed to. then yung cover so ito yung mga properties ng cover na andun sa NSAP code so check nyo lang yan so makikita mo lang man dito na pag, pag foundation 75 pag exterior column and beams 50 pag interior columns and beam so 40 40 pag slab we have 20 and walls na no? we have 20 okay so i think klara yan then then yung fc prime is given we have 27.5 megapascal so if you want to know yung value ng mga fy then so andyan yan sa ncp code check nyo lang that sa table 420 in ACP 2015 and then yung FC prime is andyan din yan sa in ACP 2015 419.2 yan yung mga property nila na? pero dito sa problem natin is given 27.5 and we have 414 and then yung unit weight is meron tayong uh, concrete we have 23.5 kN meter so I think hindi na needed daw kasi wala man tayong kinocompute na ano Then, yung beta is also given in the NCP. So, yan. Na? So, we have 0.85 kasi less than 28 yung MC prime natin. Then, for rebar, so, I start with 4. Okay. Then, we have the main bar diameter of 25 mm. Then, yung secondary uh, reinforcement natin is, let's say, 12. Na? So, since main bars lang yung uh, focus ko dito, wala pa akong... Uh, hindi pa tayo magdi-design ng shear design. So, hindi pa natin needed yung diameter. Pero, anyway, kung gusto mong kunin yung overall depth ng beam, so, kailangan mo ng diameter ng stirrup. Then, yung beam load, so, ito yung maximum applied moment. So, in my case, wala man akong, hindi man ako magdi-design. So, mag-investigate lang ako. So, I don't need the value. Ayan na, na? So, analyze na natin. So, for rebar na 4 pieces na 25 mm, so we have the value of 4 mm. Ayan, no? So, meron siyang balance uh, steel ratio of 0.0284. Uh, steel area of 1963.5. We have the actual steel ratio of 0.01322. So, since yung uh, steel natin, yung actual steel ratio natin is less than nung balance. So, ibig sabihin, steel yields or we will use Fs equals Fy. So, gawa tayo ng ganitong uh, diagram, yung stress diagram. So, kunin lang natin yung summation of forces X. So, makukuha natin yung depth nung compression block. That is 105.38. So, yung location ng neutral axis We have, ganun pa rin, no? 124 nominal. So, we have 322.967. Yung actual tensile stress, meron tayong 157. This is more than 1,000. So, ibig sabihin, tension control. So, yan na, no? So, makukuha natin yung value ng ultimate. That is 290.67. So, same lang siya dun sa conventional na calculation natin. Okay? 
So how about if we change this into 6 pieces? Okay. So run natin yan. Ayan na. So ito yung makukuha niyang value. So dumami yung uh, steel area niya. No? Kasi anim na nga. Pero makikita mo dito na yung actual steel stress yung ito. Yeah. is less than pa rin nung balance. So, ibig sabihin, this is under reinforced or still yield. So, we will use yung FS equals FY. Then, we compute for A, then for C, then compute natin yung MN. Diba? Then, we compute for the actual stress. So, ito yun. So, may kita natin na this is less than uh, 414. Uh, this is greater than 414 and less than 1,000. So, this is under transition zone. Na? So, ibig sabihin, gagamit tayo ng formula for given in the NECP. Pero this is ano, ano? given sa NECP for solving the fee factor, yung dito. Pwede rin yung dito. Na? Yung 0 0.65 plus 0 0.25. So, anyway, yung makukuha mo yung 0 0.836. So, yung ultimate mo is 378.51. Okay? So, how about uh, 9? So, same pa rin siya nung na-compute natin. So, how about 9? We compute for that. So, ito na yung makukumpute natin na value. So, 417.864 yung steel area. Pero dito may kita mo na mas malaki na yung actual steel still reach niya 0.0297 so more than na siya nung 0.028 okay so ibig sabihin this is over reinforced and still does not yield no? so fs we will use fs equal 600 d minus c over c so yun na no? so gagamit pa rin tayo ng ganitong formula then we change this into quadratic equation so we can now get the location of the neutral axis yun yun c then the actual still stress is we have 400. So this is less than FY. So ibig sabihin this is compression control. So we will use phi that is 0 0.65. And ito yung magiging nominal. And we have now the ultimate na 385.64. So ito pa rin yung gagamitin ko. Pag compute ng iba't ibang number of uh, number of bars. I mean bars. No? So itabulate ko na lang sa next na, sa next na slide. Okay.